Carol Peters. Welcome to Carol on Creativity, the show that lets you explore your creative side. Today I have two guests that I am so excited about. They are, and I know you know them, Gene Sakahara and Sam Bozo, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I'm Gene Sakahara. Thank you very much for inviting us. This is going to be much different than our usual cooking. Yeah. Well, we're going to use some food today, Gene, so <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun. And, and Carol's going to make us an artist. And I'm Sam Bozo. <laughs> and together, we're, we're twins. Known. We're known as twins. Sakabozo. <laughs> oh, twins separated at birth. Yeah, you I forgot have... that part, didn't I? Yeah, we've only been doing it for 18 <laughs> <I> years. <know. laughs> okay, okay, I think this is going to be exciting. And because you are twins separated at birth, I have two ways to print, and printing has been used forever in so many things. I mean, it started out printing books and stationery and aprons and fabric and you name it. Everything is, and you probably touch in your daily life is printed. The first type of printing is called gayataku, and that is a Japanese fish printing. Really? Yes. <laughs> and that is something that has been done for centuries, and it's a very, very wonderful way of exploring you know the waters in the ocean because you're here sam i thought we need to do something for the italians oh good. so we're so going to do the italian food printing called manja, manja. All right. now this is an ancient it starts today, today. okay <laughs> well we can be considered ancient so yeah. Yeah, all right so i'm just going to kind of show you what we have okay. i i purchased these rubber fish but a long time ago i used to actually use real fish really but it was kind of like you know smelly, smelly. Okay. And a couple of days yeah okay. so we're going to print the fish and we're going to do in your honor as well aprons and you'll be able to take the aprons home wow. now all what right. you don't know is that you get your individual apron <clears throat> but sam you're making one for gene Oh, oh. Ah. so I do the gayataku. <laughs> no, you can do whatever you <laughs> oh, want. Okay. Right. Whatever you feel expresses his spirit. Okay, okay. great. And Gene, you're going to give yours to Sam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so just to kind of show you, I'll show you this. These are food prints, and um, this is done with a bell pepper that was just cut in half and stamped. Yeah. Okay, and you can do all kinds of things. You can combine the foods. The pasta that you see here, I know, I, isn't it beautiful? It's just all different colors. The little wheel was used to, uh, actually this different apron shapes. was stamped uh -huh. on. Little wagon wheels. Um, the carrot, I cut in half and stamped around here. This was a potato that was cut up. I think it's over there somewhere. Uh, here it is and I cut it in a shape and stamped it and then used the carrot to stamp in the middle. This is celery and isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. It really is. And these are actually tools that you have um, in your everyday, you know, kitchen, kitchen. drawer. Right. Yeah. And you can ink those up and stamp them oh. and just experiment. <clears throat> and as you see, I know you guys are probably getting hungry and really want to use this to cook. But we have a variety of vegetables and, and things that you're going to actually use to print with. So all this stuff is really easy to... We have an affinity to garlic. Yes. Yes. We I, I, use the garlic. I yeah. haven't done it yet. Oh, yeah. I really know. It comes out like Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to start with a fish. And we, this is a, a brayer. And a brayer is really kind of a nice tool when you print. It's a little baby roller. And it spreads the ink out evenly. And these I bought at the flea market, but they're just like trays. You can get them anywhere. So we, we squeezed out some acrylic. And you can buy printing ink, but this is acrylic. It's water-based when it's wet. When it dries, it's plastic. Mm. So if you get it on you, like I printed this fish and all this stuff, it's not going to come out in the wash. Mm. So, uh, Gene, why don't you squeeze a little acrylic? Um, to the side, because yeah. you're going to want to roll. <coughs> Just a little bit. Well, 
quite a bit. You can take the lid off. That's what I do. Oh. You know why? Oh, oh it's oh, good. It <laughs> now, how long, Carol, how long does it take for it to dry? Not long. Acrylic okay. dries pretty fast. Okay, so mine might be a little bit, because I pulled mine Yours, out. Of, that's, it's good. Okay. okay, so since we put in so much, uh -huh. just take your roller like this and just go like this. Me too? Yeah, just to the side. Is it okay if, if it runs? Yeah, but okay. put it over there. Right here, okay. And just roll it up, back and forth. I have to confess, Carol. Yes. Uh, because I've had some anxiety about this because the last time I took a, uh, I took elementary school art when I was in teacher training at Chico State. Uh huh. And Josie Otwell, she was an 80-year-old professor, and there were 60 of us students in the class. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, because it was a, one of the electives, well. She was going over all the prerequisites and expectations, and the next mm -hmm. day there were only 30 of us, and I was the only guy left. I said, wow. this is going to be a piece of cake because now I can brown nose, right? Because she's <laughs> 80 years old. Help carry the pro projector in and all that stuff. No way. Did that catch you any slack? No. Yeah. So uh, my first project was paper sculpture. Yeah. And I worked six hours on this little dachshund. I thought it was pretty nice, but I walked into the class, mm -hmm. and there were these lions with manes and castles and I said holy I said I'm <laughs> yeah. in trouble well then next after that was finger painting and when she started critiquing and I said that's a, that's enough of this <laughs> so that was it yes so, so this so. is it today this is this it is but it. you're you a lot nicer than Josie so. well yeah. I don't know I'm not 80 so that's one plus <laughs> no, no you're not no, okay you're so okay. we're hey. going to use today aprons okay and you're printing you know and if you want to have like a words up here, you might want to leave that blank. So kind of figure out where you want to put your fish. Okay. So you're going to untie the back just to get, you know, and yeah. just kind of hang it over there. Yeah, got it. And then you're going to take your fish and you're going to ink them up. I should have picked green then because, well, no, that's the red's part of the Italian flag. Yeah, so you watch, you just take Take this, you roll it so it's sticky all the way across, okay. and then you just roll your fish. Multiple times. Oh yeah, you gotta get in all the little grooves. All everything. Oh, the nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies. Okay. And if you can see the scales, that's great because you want to. You wanna see um, you wanna see the fish like, you know. How apropos, your fish is bigger than mine. Or my fish is bigger than yours. But I'm making yours, Sam. Yeah, and I'm making yours, Gene. Yeah. 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 So whatever apron. This is called a bluefish. You got to do a real good job because you want your you want Sam to have a great apron and. Of course. I know you know but Sam. But you know, you mom want... always liked him better. Wow, you're gonna do a good job. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. I mean, just ink these guys up, get around their little eyeballs, get their little mouth. This and is fun. You know what? And my daughter taught fifth grade and. I bought these for her because they studied the ocean and they studied the different species. And when you go to an aquarium, you actually get sometimes to do a fish rubbing. So it's a very educational thing. So um, it's not just a fun thing. It's also something that teaches you a lot about, you know, the different species and different fish. You don't want us <laughs> to uh, put too much acrylic on there, though. No, right? but you kind of <clears throat> want it to... You want, you, know. you want it all co covered, though. Yeah, so I think I that's more? I think that's good. How about on the sides, Carol? Do you have to? I kind of went around the edge. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Now this. I got a flat fish stamp, so. Yeah. yeah that's a big one too. It's so. a great Is big. Is this okay in terms grande. of the amount? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. It looks good. Okay. okay. Teacher, is this okay? Is this okay? Now we're gonna take these and just move them to the side, just to set, just okay. to get them out of the way. Okay. You can quit rolling for a minute, Sam. Okay. If you think you're done. Pretty much. Take your little fishy. Take the fishy. And throw this away. Because you don't want all this extra to get on your apron. Give me that. Okay. And then take your apron off of its cardboard. It's garbage. Just get it off your cardboard. Now, you <coughs> kind of have to eyeball it. And you want, the, obviously, the side that's showing, right? Yeah, the side that is going to be showing, so... You like yours in the middle, Gene? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yours uh -huh. in the middle, too, Sam? Sure. Because we're balanced. We want symmetry. Oh, oh so, okay. So, so, Carol, you're going to put, put your little in fish in front of you. Okay, and that's and what I And put your big fish in front of you. And then you just kind of 
you know, figure out where you're going to put this guy. Okay. And okay. once you put you him down, one shot, right? once you put him down, you can't move him. Okay. Oh, okay. And then okay. grab it. Okay. Like, put your hand on. Okay, now just press him. Feel that. The fins go around the edges. It's uh -huh. the first time I've ever given a massage to a fish. Well, this is like, yeah. you know, this is kind of like doing <laughs> ravioli dough, you? you know? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> is it good for you as it is for me? No. Well, I'm not it, hearing it, anything from the fish. Especially yeah. around the eyes, yeah. you okay. know, because you really want oh, the eyes yeah. to okay. show. Good. And, and, you know, kind of press really into the... <laughs> so the crevices. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I actually, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh! I can't <laughs> wait to see the finished product. I know it. It's going to be so I neat. I hope I did all the edges too. I think you did. Now this is Carol's second show, but with us <laughs> as her students, it could be her last. It could be her last. <laughs> That's right. A lot of writing on this. That's okay. We're all educators. We have a backup job. We're, yeah. we're retired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, usually you can kind of see the fish through the fabric. Yep. And most prints are done this way. And, uh, people don't realize it, but most printing is done this way. It's not the stamping. It's usually the paper on yeah. top of a lithograph, the paper on top of an etching plate. Mm. So just now grab your apron and pull it up. Pull it up. See okay, what Carol, you've got. My, uh, Fish my is, is sticking. <laughs> Okay. All righty. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. wow. Very look nice. Look at that, Sammy. How's this, Gene? This is, is it ready down? to go. <laughs> no, look. that's, oh, that that's awesome good. Is that or what? Woo. Okay. We, we should stop now. Oh, yeah. Are, we've been successful. You're rocking. The eyes. The eyes are terrific. Look at that. Yes. I, yeah. You know what? Isn't that beautiful? Yes. They almost look like fossils. Uh -huh. You know when you see the fossils? You, you call them as fossils? That's beautiful. No, no. <laughs> no, you're not a fossil. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. So oh, now, okay, we can put these. You know what? Now, important, there's a bucket of water. Oh, okay. <laughs> They've been out of water too long. Okay. And the reason we're throwing them in there is because this is acrylic and it will dry plastic. Yeah. Oh. And they will have all the little things clogged up. So put this now on your cardboard. Back on the board. All three of them in there? Yeah, just drop them in. Okay. And we're going to go to stamping, which is. Um, you know, gonna we're putting the cardboard underneath. If you were gonna do a t-shirt, you would put a cardboard in the middle of the shirt so it wouldn't go to the back. So basically what I'm doing, if you guys just look, I'm tying it like you would tie it on somebody uh -huh. on the back and then just tie it to the neck. Okay, you don't need you don't uh, need to loop it now with, the, with the neck part, huh? Well you okay. kinda do. Watch. Okay. I'm tying an, I kinda tied a knot here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go through this. And then loop it. Okay. And then, then you can see it like that. Got it. Okay. So then you have it so you can start stamping. And now the creative part really sets in because you're going to have to carve a potato if you want to do a bell pepper. Whatever you would like to do, um, you can actually put on there. And see how nice and clean they are? There's nothing around it because we, we threw away that. Well, mine folded over as I... So there's a little red spot. But oh, I can okay. take care of it. You can take care well, of it. Gene, that's the one that you're making for me. I know. And you already have spots on it? Well, no, just okay. one because, you know, as I was we'll putting put the fish down, on it fold it over. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You know, I'm going to put a border on there for you, Sam. Well, okay, let me tie good, it for you. good. Yeah, you can write things, too, with, with magic markers, you know, permanent markers. You can write recipes on there. You could put, um, like I did on that fish apron, I wrote uh -huh. the, the fish's different types and all that. You can do whatever you want. Gene, there can you, you put go. on mine Yokoso? <laughs> <laughs> sure. How do you spell it? Y-O-K-O-S-O. <laughs> and that means welcome, right, Gene? Uh, in, yes. In Japanese. Okay, of course. This is going to be kind of, they're kind of large. Yeah. So okay. what you're going to do now, we're going to still take the inks. So, um, and we're going to actually stamp with them. You're not going to actually, you might need the brayer, but um, go ahead and like, on this one, I used a sponge. So if we want different colors, we can squeeze it out. But say you want to use a sponge print, you can dip it in here. And I'll just do it maybe up. I'll do it right here so you can see it on the. But you don't have to. Kind of figure it out. If you want to put the letters on it, you can. I know you guys have picked out the letters. And if you want to test your letters on a paper, that might not be a bad idea. Could we use okay. a green too? Because sure. what I'd like to do is go red, white, green, which is okay, the Italian flag. Okay, cool. 
see. Cool. You're so, uh, um, Carol? Yes. So, uh, if I'm going to do this for Gene, then I, I wouldn't put my name on here, then, would I? Not unless no. you want him to always wear your name around it. Right? You'll always remember me that way, Gene? <laughs> I remember you anyway. Oh, okay. Here you go. Here's some greens. Yeah, you can squeeze it. This is acrylic in the tube. Oh. So you can get acrylics in all different forms. So just squeeze that out. Okay. You can roll it up. The white's between the green and the red, right, Sammy? The Italian flame? The white? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, See, Carol? History. So th this, for the carrot part, we can do... <clears throat> Cut it, though, so it's a nice flat surface. Oh, and then if okay. you want to test it, just test it on the white paper okay. so you can see what it looks it. like. All right, here we go. Okay, so there you go. So if you want to try using a word, like, um, roll it out, though, Gene, so that you have a flat area okay. with your grayer. Just get this. And that's easier to stamp. Then you're not going to get a big old blob. By doing this, you get it nice and flat so that, you know, say I'm going to try using this J. So I'm sticking it in there. I've never used these. I just bought these in your honor. Wow. See how cool that oh, is? Oh, that's nice. So you can yeah. do that. Okay. So Let's actually, see. we should switch the letters, right, Sammy? Yes. Here, I'll, give you, I'll give you these. And then you'll have to help me how to spell Gene. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is it J-E-A-N? No. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do my one for okay. my son because he has an aquarium. And then maybe I'll do another one for my daughter. So. Okay. See, if you, just, if you just stamp them down like that, that side will give you a box around it. Uh -huh. And then if you go like this, this side will give you just a letter. Just a letter. Oh, right. Okay. So you decide what you're going to do. <clears throat> Isn't this fun? It is. It is. See, and you have to think about it. You have to think how you're going to do it, too. You know, if you want to have it symmetrical, if you want to have a design going through it. There's also these cool little squeezy paints that you can actually squeeze out, but these take a whole long time to dry because I did this and they took like four hours. Mm. So if you do that, we'll do it at the end. But is it also acrylic? Or just yeah, uh -huh. these are actually for fabric because I, I went and I bought, this is also fabric too, and it was way more expensive than acrylic. It's made for fabric, uh -huh. but what happens to it is that it's so runny, it doesn't ink up good with a brayer. So, you know, just the regular old acrylic to me worked really well because I played around with it because we didn't have, you know, the, the fabric dyes and all that stuff. So, And then these little guys, don't forget your pastas. Yeah. I want, I have I want to, to try some garlic too. We gotta you got to try the garlic. <laughs> and if you want bell pepper, celery, and you know what I thought would be really cool, but I don't know how it would work on this, is that these noodles, look how awesome these look. I went oh. to the store not to buy food for dinner. Egg noodles. Yeah, but, yeah. But I think it's kind of like a dry udon. But yeah. look at this. Look, look, how would that be to print? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pasta oh, fazool, be... baby. Yeah. yeah. Put that on mine, Sam. Okay. 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 You guys want to. Of course, I can do some and pretend like it's spaghetti, you know. Yeah, yeah it, it looks like it, huh? No, this is not, that's not a udon, though, is it, Gene? No, no, it's more like a yaki. A yaki, okay. Yeah. yeah. See, it's, it's inspiring a cultural conversation. Okay, here we well, go. We've Gene. had many. <laughs> I want to see that pasta. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Roll it up, Keep. roll it up, Sam. Roll it, turn it over and roll it up. Roll it up? Yeah, turn that baby over and just roll oh, it up. Oh, like here? Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. I'll hold your neighbor and okay. you do it. <laughs> You got so much ink on there. Too much? <laughs> you go swimming in it. Just, just, that's good. Okay. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> okay, here we You're go. You're supposed to hear it go like tick, 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 oh, you know, like tacky. Oh. No. oh, but look at no. the design on that. <laughs> I think, oh, this no. is terrific. Okay. Adams. Yeah, it is. It's good. <laughs> but what I was actually saying. How about saying, if I roll on it? That's what I meant. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Carol. Okay. Okay. Here we go. There you go. And then if, yes. it, if you need like to, you know, level it's it off. It's going to be remedial yeah. art. Yes. If Sam and Jean can do it, anybody That's can do right. it. But look That's how right. awesome these are. And you know yeah, what? Yeah, if you have, if you great. have like little kids or old people or a classroom we or, qualify. or <laughs> any age and any age can do this because oh, yeah. it's just, 
you know, it's so simple and it's really totally fun. Now, did you stamp this or roll this? Did I stamped it. So, and try it out on your paper. Yeah, yeah. And dip it in in the flat surface. The reason that we roll it is see how big and areas are and yeah, then how okay. flat. Yeah. So you want it nice and even. So that's why the brayer is really good. And these brayers are really super cheap. Carol, is this show a three hour show? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you get rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling and rolling and rolling. <laughs> and you don't have to stick to blue, Sam. I oh, I don't? Oh, no. terrific. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> just one more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, uh, so uh, now, yeah, yeah just I think you I need stamp a it on there, though, don't you think, Carol? Yeah, just go for it. I mean, anything you want to do, Sam, I'm sure. How about sure if I poured that on there? Would that uh, that wouldn't do it, though, would it? Because yeah. it's only going to pick up the raised area. Okay. Okay. What? So, what if I poured it on? Or, no, it'll no. only stamp what's raised up anyway, oh, okay. so it won't okay. go in the yeah, crevices. Yeah. Got it. So you might okay, you I might stamp that side. Uh -huh. And then roll it the other side with another color and stamp it on the on top of it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know, oh, right on top of it. On your apron. Yeah. So you'll have blue spaghetti and then yellow on top or something. And then okay. where they touch, they'll be green. Where do you want your name, Sammy? So, uh, across the top and an angle. Where's, where's the fish, Jean? Right in the middle. I think I'll just okay. kind of help you guys, like you know, instead of doing my own. <laughs> this is called. This is called. She being so polite. A new lesson adjustment. No. She, she's thinking. She said, "Okay." The previous show, they were so much more creative. No, I love it. It's just that it. This is a lot more. Um, you know, just uh, hands-on. It's, it's okay, little, Carol. It's okay, Carol. We love it. This is terrific. It's just easier to because I've never yeah. ever you know seen what this Carol done. Carol and I have in common. Yeah. We are both educators of the year. That's right. Oh, and, very but, good. But you were a uh, state. <laughs> state? Uh, but, yeah. My she gosh. Was the state uh, uh, manager of the year. This you might know, get us the universe <laughs> <laughs> after um, this show. Okay. I'll, I think um, maybe, I, Carol, I'm going to just. I, I'm ready to see that. To, to do that, okay? I think so. I should so. probably. So, uh, Gene, where so. do you want that? Huh? <laughs> Put it up below the fish. Below the fish. Okay, here we go. Well, just, yeah. We'll put it right. I should here. probably arch, uh, here arch we go. it because it's not going to be a straight line. If so. you also like to take a little pencil line and do that, the only thing is, is that once you cover a pencil line with the ink, yeah. you can't get it out. Well, so. that's, <laughs> that looks real good. Yeah, looks like fish doo doo. Now, but <laughs> Carol, what you said was, we'll take another color and put it on with that, right? Yes. We could we could actually do three colors. We could do the yellow and the green and the or red. Or you might, Sam, look, uh -huh. you might go to this alternative. You might use, uh, you know, one of the tools. Uh -huh. uh, you could actually oh, use this. Oh, yeah. You oh, don't that's have a good to idea. stick to the spaghetti. Okay, I like that. Okay. You know. Do you have a pot of water going right now? We could stick it in there for a little lunch. And have it. <laughs> okay. You. <laughs> Oh, no. here we go. Uh, that is mine you're making. You don't always have to stick uh -oh, to blue. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> I put too much there. I'm kind of a one color guy, you know. <laughs> you can see. You, you're saying that I was boring. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to move back. so you guys have more space here okay. and just put my little So here we go, Gene. Here goes your first mallet. Oh, Carol. Isn't I that, love that cool? I, I love, love it. I love That's it. Good. I love it. That's really good. You could put it almost like the moon, you know? Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh, it I, really I is. I have a little mistake. I have an apostrophe <laughs> there on your name, Sammy. Oh, <laughs> an apostrophe. it's cool. Carol, that can I leave that macaroni on there like that? Well, it'll dry on that, won't it? Uh, yeah, but it'll come out in the wash. Oh, it will. Oh, that's I right. Would, okay. Let's just yeah, take let's it. take it off. Okay. L All leave right. it though for now. Gene, I'm ready to dry. go to another color now. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes. Well, so, you're gonna... are you looking for my permission? Oh no. <laughs> no, I, what, I've never. I know you have never have. have. <laughs> okay. So Would... can I do this over here, Carol, like this? Sh yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Is it okay to use this pepper, or should I? You cut know what? Cut a new one because that's kind of shriveled up. Okay. I'm not, okay. I wasn't going to say that, but oh, oh, well, you know what? You want to cut it wherever you want. I have the wrong side. <laughs> okay, this yeah. could this could this could be interesting. Well, though. try it. Yeah, you can try it on paper. It. You don't have to commit to your fabric. Okay. That's kind of mm, cool. Well, that's kinda, picking up the corrugation. Yeah, that's picking. Yeah, so let's do. I want to get. I want to get it all. Uh, with and the then green if on you there. if you want to like, you could break this up and and, and then maybe do and stamp it to make it look more like spaghetti as okay. well. 
And then you also have these little pinwheels and the rigatoni and rigatoni. Oh, rigatoni you know. is my rigatoni. favorite. So okay. just decide what you want. I you guess I better you put rigatoni on yours. You don't have to take that out. No, I was going to use it. Uh, yes, very good. Yay. Thank, Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. baby, you're Am gone. I doing better than Sam? Yeah. No, I'm so. not judging. I, I love so. it. You guys are both doing great. <laughs> okay. See, that looks neat. Now, we need a, we Whoa, need a little bit. Whoa, seeds came out. Uh, I've got it. Let's see. Can I borrow some of your yellow? Now, what if I put Absolutely. the green with the yellow, Carol? What will I come what up with? What happens? Well, green and yellow make yellow green. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, that's why she's the teacher. Okay. <laughs> that's good. It's not a, a warm and a cool sometimes turn brown or, or gray, okay. but All that right. will be fine. And oh, that's a good color. I like that. I'm going to go like that. Oh, and I see you had a little... Yeah, you can have like a little drop shadow okay. on it. Okay. See All how right. it turned green? Yeah. That's oh, pretty, yeah, I like that. That's nice, huh? Yeah. Let's so see. So you're that's... doing great. Okay. Well, it didn't get in the center, but... Okay, okay. Let's just do this. Yeah, you might need a little bit more. Folks, yeah, when we come not... back next week, we'll have the concluded <laughs> April. <laughs> they're they're going to lock the you door. You can use them. I hope you guys Carol use it. I didn't know this was going to be a three part show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks great. It next does. Week, All I'll that be able did. to spell Gene's name. And you can also take black magic markers and write. Okay. You can write yeah. like you know, a fish recipe or something and, and take what you have and just make yeah. it, you know, make it what you want. Okay. But the I'm... stamping is really fun. Well, Carol, I want you to know that you got me off of one color. Good. So now I'm, Good. I'm into two, three okay. different colors. Okay. There's also red over there. Okay. If you want to try that or if you want to put his name with the letters, you yeah, can I do that. I'm going to do that for now. I'm going to go over and get, and then like I got to come back to work. Uh, and yeah, you well. can use the stamping. Oh, the bell pepper? No, didn't. But that's okay. That's okay. You can overlap them. Yeah. And you can, and actually, this is the base of it. I just kept it out because look how neat that looks. Right. So I cut it like way down here yeah. and just shaved off that. I'm just going to experiment. Yeah. So you can do a lot of different things. You can cut this. And these little fish over here are actually potato prints. I just oh. cut a little baby fish, which I can do right now as you guys do uh -oh. that. Too much. Too much. Oh, that looks good. But actually, you know, I mean, you, texture is okay, though. Right? Oh, yeah. That, that's what this is all about, is texture. If you can't, you know, feel the surface, then it's not going to really print. So anything with texture, if it'd be kind of cool. I was thinking, like, if you had somebody that was in construction and you wanted to make them a, a shirt, you could actually print tools. Just find tools that oh, are yeah. flat, you and know, then, uh -huh. a screwdriver or a Do the same thing like you wrench. did with the fish? Yeah, just roll them up. Okay. So, I, and just use your imagination. But a lot of times... You'll have, you know, just, you can carve into the potato and make anything you want. You can do letters or, you know, whatever. All right. Just so carve. So maybe a little, a little. So I got how are you doing? Well, you know. It looks I just good. Wanna, Isn't that neat? Yeah, it is. I'm going to try really some rigatoni neat. now. Oh, here. Here's the rigatoni. The yeah. rigatoni. I, can I have some uh, blue there, Sammy? Yes, you can. Blue. Just, I have plenty of it. And we can have more colors if you guys want. But this is probably okay. good. Hey, Gino, can I borrow your red? Absolutely, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, oh. Maybe you should have seen us at the end of our uh, cookbook writing. We couldn't stand each other. <laughs> that cookbook, I'm, I we, know, uh, is we wonderful. We spent every Wednesday working together. Really? Yes. That's great. That cookbook is awesome. Thanks. So now what do you, yours is, that fish is absolutely beautiful. The it looks like I'm bubbles happy. coming out of his mouth. Well, uh, bubbles go up. That's going down. I know, but I was <laughs> there might be another fish down there. Now, this rigatoni, you didn't roll, but. I didn't use the end, but you oh, can you try rolling it. Yeah, oh, I made okay. little circles. But well, if you little, want some let's try the bottom celery, here. that works really good, too. You know what? If I, if I, um. Uh, if I do a yellow, then I'll have the Olympic uh, uh, insignia, Ooh, won't I? There. Isn't that three circles for the Olympic? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, that's not very creative, Sam. I this think looks would... nice as a border. I think you guys are doing really well. Okay. And you can print this on paper. You can print it on tissue. She says that to all her students, though. No, they're great. Don't you love it? I love it. Yeah, I oh, really yes. do. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, I, I'm just trying to think maybe what to do with the, um, with the uh, noodles. 
you know, if there's anything else that I can do with that, Carol, what do you think? Well, you might try using like an edge, you know, just trying the edge oh, if you okay. really want to try it okay, again. Maybe with a different color, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just That's try it. Idea. You know, because see this one had this big hole here? Yeah. That's why it, it it's only going to, this side is better. And do it like ink it up. Ink it up really this way. Really ink it up. Oh, uh, with the with the yeah. Blower. Take okay. it and go instead of trying to stamp it. I think oh, this okay. I got you. You know, roll that. Okay. Because I think by stamping it down, you're breaking it, and it's kind of fragile. Hey, Gene. Yes. You only gave me uh, one E for your name. Because you because you have to you can use the same E two times. Oh. <laughs> or three. That's brilliant. <laughs> or three. Here. Okay. Now you don't it's have enough. It's a good thing we didn't use Sakahara <laughs> with four yeah, that's A's. Right, that's right. Yeah. Well, what would you do with the uh, bozo, one O or one Z? How's that rigatoni coming well, out? Well, you know, it's not bad. The second, oh, yeah. the second one is coming out, out better. That because is great. It's, you know, but now I've got to Got to work it around. Over, yeah. You know, this we do know, awesome. know some bozos that would have one Z gene, so we'd be okay on that. That probably is going to take a lot of ink. Yeah. So just yeah. grab it right just there. Get, just yeah, really just, put a lot just on there, huh? go it, do it. This is getting, this is a better one, though. Yeah. You can see already. Yeah. It's, it's because, good, you know oh. why? Because the other one had that big crevices in it. Uh huh. I'm going to try this fusilli and then. Uh, what about that roll. garlic? We got to see it. Yes. Yes. We got yes. to yes. see yes. garlic. What yeah. color do I want here? You want more red, green, blue, whatever. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Let's just. Let's see what happens when we roll it. That's so tiny. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just playing with it. Just playing with it yeah. here. Let's see. Just, you know, just. Sam's about pasta, so. Oh, oh that's kind of that, neat. Huh? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So let's see some Oop. placement, huh? I would right there on top, huh? And let's go like that. And you know what? You might try. That's it. But since it's got that on it. Okay. Like, really hard, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not going to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little crunchy. We're going to have a crunchy apron, Gene. What, what is that? Okay, this you lift noodle. it. You, no, it's your noodle. apron. You okay. lift it up. I'm going to okay. try some garlic. Oh, Yay! I love it. Oh, I love it. That's pretty Yay! cool. I like the oil. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I love it, no, too. No, I like that. Okay, it needs, now it needs a yellow, though. It needs a yellow. Do we have any more? Oh, right here. Right oh. here. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of those. Let's Pick see. one out that has like, um, you know where I got you these? Know, I got these at the, be this whole block at the dollar store. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome place to get like, you know, stuff. Okay. Carol, can I borrow your yellow? Or yeah, can you but just... secret, you roll that first. Okay. With, with the yellow. Right. Okay. That worked best. Remember? Trade me. Got it. There you go. Okay. Look at that, that, that rigatoni with the, looks like a flag. It's cool, huh? Okay, now we're going to try this. So you guys are really creative. It's oh, just yeah. discovery. I mean, it's total discovery. Yeah. It's, it's taking, you know, like simple things she's, and... She's such a good teacher. Yes, she no. is. Very Positive encouraging. Very encouraging. So That's we don't go home crying. No. Why That's would right. you go home crying? <clears throat> That's why fun. she was educator of the year. That's right. This That's is right. totally fun, you guys. It's like something that's fun, and if it's not fun, it's really not worth doing, is it? That's right. That's why we do the stage thing, because we laugh. Yeah, we have All a good right. time. Okay. And Watch. okay, here's a garlic here. I, I okay. cut it this Oh, my way. God. This is the big unveiling. We should have a drum roll. Hey, <gasps> wow. That is not bad. That's a out? good one. Oh, what? my God. It looks like a garlic. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. does. <laughs> Look Show, at this. Turn it around, G. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Is oh, that yeah. beautiful? Oh, yeah. Now, see the rigatoni on the bottom? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it. You that. know what? You could see cards, you know, doing them like on that white paper. Yeah. And then just taking them and folding them and, and sending them out. I mean, you could put them oh, on yeah. beautiful, like the, that oh, you nice, mean, like, rich paper. Yes, yeah, stationary. Or just it's, one garlic, it's like tough on a T-shirt. enough to get the Christmas cards out without making each one, you know. <laughs> start now, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> start now. <laughs> you got a good, you got a good thing going right now. Don't stop, Gene. Don't stop. Your Take Christmas... that right home tonight and start sending those Christmas cards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you some more green. And remember, these are not expensive well, acrylics. These are really inexpensive. They're school grade. 
It acrylic. didn't come out as heavy as the red, but it does No, because it's on white. Yeah. But that's it's cool. still got a nice uh, it's beautiful. Jackson Pollock kind it of. It does, uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, with the garlic, I yeah. think next time leave part of the stock because then you can put the yes. stock down. Too. Yes. Are you going to use it again? Yeah. Okay. Well, the there's other another side. Half. There's another. Yeah. Oh, right okay, there. good. Good. Well, should Look I go back to blue? You love blue. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to go with red this time. Here, switch. It yeah. should. Uh, is it okay to use the same one, just a different color? Or it'll it's change the color, but that's okay because those won't make a uh, brown or anything. Yeah, okay. Actually, it'll make it richer. If you double color up, normally it's richer. But for the sake of mm. just time and everything else, we're just doing single colors. Yeah. Well, I just lost a <laughs> clove. Well, maybe I'll just do two cloves. Let's see what it looks like. Well, right. yeah, why not? There's another garlic over no. there. Just cut it in half. So. Yeah, another garlic. There's one right behind idea. you. <clears throat> it's all an experiment. Oh, yeah, if you just can get one print out of something, yeah, it's called a mono print. All right. So a lot of times, if there's just one print, it's called you know they say a mono print. It's because whatever the surface was, it didn't make it through more than one printing. Uh huh. If you get so, two, Sam, it's called bioprint. A bioprint. <laughs> yes. And, and if then three, multi print. Oh, tricycle. <laughs> <Yeah>, tricycle. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens okay, with that. Oh, you happens. cut yours the other way. Oh, what, which way did he, he did it uh, sliced the other he way? He did it like uh, uh, down yeah, from so the... Yeah, so I'm going to get the cloves. Yeah. I'll get the... <laughs> okay, let's see what happens All here. All right, I better oh, try no. another pepper on this side. Let me, let's me. let try this pepper and see. Yeah. That one was Here's yellow. this pepper. Nope. Yeah, that one, the center didn't come yeah, out. Yeah, the center. How did you cut yours, Gene? No, I cut it... Uh, the other way. The, this way. You cut oh, it. the long. Okay, well, that's, the way, we would, that's the way we would. That's the way we would cut it <laughs> yeah. if we're making uh, yeah. roasted garlic. Roasted garlic, yeah. Speaking okay. of that, I roasted some garlic and made some garlic bread the other day. Uh huh. Man, that was good. Did you use any granulated garlic? No, no, you I didn't. And you had the a roasted garlic flavor. I it? whipped it up with yeah. some butter. Okay. It was delicious. You'll never look at garlic again the same way. You realize that. Well, well I'm going to do it, Carol, maybe. but I'm going to... you got to go in a different way. That's good. See, it's all about what you, how you perceive the world. And that's how you saw it, and that's, yeah, that's what you I did. that's how I saw it. That's what you did. I think Walter Conkright then, and that's the way it was. Well, that that's came, the way it see, is. See, this one came out better, Carol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, well, look at how creative it is. <laughs> Gene, you have a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Okay, so I think I'll just, you know, I'm gonna from your last show. I I learned this. You go, you do swipes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then, and wow. then Okay, and then, and then we're gonna just add colors to that. Okay. Okay. And Gene, it doesn't look like a target. I want you to know that. So, we'll, but we're gonna. Add it looks colors. like a, you know, like it, a. It looks like I tried to butcher the the the, the fish. Yeah, that's why I want to tone it down with a little bit of blue and yellow. So, ah, okay. Okay, so I'll use the other part. Let's see if I can use. Nope, that garlic isn't any good. Where where is your garlic, Gene? Are you still using it? Right here. I'll have a, oh blue, perfect, perfect. Okay, so okay. what's gonna happen when you put the? Oh, you're just oh, using the, the blue. Oh, the blue on the red. It'll yeah. change. It'll turn to purple. But it's still, will it give it a contrast? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, it'll just be darker. <laughs> okay. Gene, a little See? bit more blue, please. No, sure, sure. Okay. This is, Gene, you'll always remember this apron. And you'll know that your buddy is the one who made it for you. You haven't spelled my name yet. Though. You could actually put his name in that. Oh, that's a good idea. I like Or that. just put G-S. And this is cool because what's happening is yeah. it's picking up the corrugation. Uh huh. So oh, that's, oh, that's good. Is oh, that like awesome that. or what? Yeah. That's actually beautiful. It looks like a fireworks. It does. It does. Yeah. I like that. Now, Carol, the is fish my is... fish upside down? No. It is okay, right? Okay. Yeah, his eyes are up that. at I the top. Yeah, they yeah, wouldn't yeah. be down yeah. at the bottom. Okay. All right. <laughs> could be. So then we'll put Gene's name right there. Well, it's up to you. Or you could put it this way, you could put it this way. Well, I'm not supposed to listen what, to my art teacher. Ever she... way you want. No, okay. I mean, basically, this is just experimenting and trying to print. And okay, I, you what know, else I do I want? Down, kind of cascading, like Jean, you know, something like that. That would be good. Okay. Uh, a real design um, trick is that a center of interest is uh -huh. something that's uh, five to seven times bigger 
So this is your center of interest right now because it's so big okay. and it's so powerfully uh, in color, visually uh -huh. in color. Uh -huh. So this is probably where somebody's going to look. But the fact that it's going to go under your arm is also another story. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so then, maybe we don't want to put his name there. Yeah, then. maybe yeah. not. It okay. might halfway go under his armpit. So Yeah, we only see Ian. I don't want to put my name under <laughs> my arm. <laughs> you <laughs> notice name. how your chef yeah. 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 right across the top? Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Easy I to think see. I'm going to go right see, here then. Sam, yeah. you can see your oh, name. Oh, gee, that's yeah. wonderful. So. That I is. Like that. You could actually do it, you know, put something else over there, too. Well, I want to put the border, border there. Okay. So you want to do the sides? Yeah. So if you touch that uh -huh. apron, you know. I know. It's, you know, you're going to get fingerprints. So you want right. to, you can wash your hands and then just touch, you know. Because Wash he, the gloves. Just wash okay. them with gloves. It's yeah. kind of wild and crazy. Yeah. At least he was in, in, in some part of his life. Yes. <laughs> I, want to, I want to kind of... Uh, accent his his name. I don't want it to be just straight across. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna go like that. Yes. Okay. That's good. And then maybe with the E, I'll go with. Um, what do you? Would yellow be okay? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow or, is, or is lighter. No. It's harder to see. Oh, that's right. Okay. You Let know. Me, I'll go with the. On the white. I haven't done blue yet, so. Oh, want the blue see, back? You yeah. want blue, big I time. I keep back to that blue. <laughs> it's a nice blue. <laughs> yeah. It's a good blue. Thank you. I'll trade you. Jane. And then, uh, you know what, you guys? Once this dries, you can take and water down this acrylic and put a wash over it. That's what oh. I did with those fish. Oh. That's oh. how that apron is blue. Yeah. So huh. after this was all over, because you don't really want to add water to this because it'll just run all over and you won't get that tackiness that you need to print. But you can take, and when the fish dries, take a great big fat brush, just like we did in the other oh, segment. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can add water right here <clears throat> to your palate, and then just pull it right over that. Okay. And it won't move, okay? Huh, because yeah. this will turn to plastic. But at this point, it's still wet. But yeah, it'll take right. maybe, in an hour, this will be dry, and then you can play around with it and do whatever you Remind want. Remind me it. how you, uh, you used, what kind of ink pen to put the name of the fish or the recipe? Just, um, just a if Sharpie? you don't mind, yeah, just the regular Sharpie. Oh, okay. You can do, I've Would got them in here. In red, if you guys want to use these, you can go ahead and be my guest. These are um, regular at the oh, we could play with that bottom at line is, is it has to say waterproof. Okay, otherwise they'll Yo, run yeah, all over yeah. the place. So You want to put a test pattern here, Sammy? Yeah. This end looks... Oh, good. no, it's good. okay. Okay. Looks good. So, so, yeah, so this is what happened. I did the fish, and then I let them dry, and then I took uh, just acrylic, mm -hmm. watered it down, just like a watercolor, and then just brushed it over, brushed it over. It sunk right into the apron so you could change it. Yeah. Or you could have colored the apron first, let it dry, and then print on top of it. So, or you could have just had an ocean at the bottom and done that. Mm. Now, if actually, I would suggest if you were actually going to do this for someone, I would take, you know, and th think it out on paper first. Because this is a quick half hour show, we didn't have time to do it. But plan what you were going to do. Because now you know all the things that can happen with the different, you know, foods. Yes, and Sam and I are about so, planning. So you can kind of plan, oh, I want the name here, I want the fish here, I'd like yeah. to have a, a sponge design around it, I want to do this and that. Okay. And then, you know, that way you'll come out with something that's more balanced and has, you know, has a center of interest and it has <coughs> the colors. But what we're doing today is just fun and just learning how the stamps you know, work and what you can do with the food and the Japanese and Italian method. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Oh, okay, no, okay, oh, no. watch. Exactly not the way to do it. Cutting into the stomach, no good. Oh, okay. But Always. we're experts. Of oh, no, course, no, no, there no. was the one time we were doing no, a show no. live. Always yeah. away from you. Always away from you. And if you like have. I don't get much leverage. <laughs> Well, then put it yeah, down. No, put no, it down like this no. and go away. Go away from I you this way. I uh, appreciate she doesn't want no, to. No, you, I saw you doing this, Jean. I don't want to <laughs> this be yeah, your last. Yeah, you don't want any <laughs> blood on the. Hey, Jean. Huh? Ah. <laughs> um, could you give me a little more red? Sure. I'm doing another one down here, Carol. All right. You know what we can do is roll a little red, except I'm no, afraid no. it'll get on the green, no, and then no, you'll no. get a dark That's color. That's okay. 
Great. All right. How are you doing here? Oh, I'm doing great. Let me squeeze I, out some maybe more. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Because see how dark that is when the blue hits it? It's yeah. almost like a black. Yeah, it does. Uh-huh. So okay. you have to really be careful of, if you're doing this with anyone that doesn't know color, uh -huh. just have them do what we're doing right here. Keep the color separate because every time they touch and overlap, <laughs> Yeah. And you and when you have a big blob like that, you can just take a little and roll it to the side. Oh, okay. So okay. you see how much you have. Yeah. <laughs> Way too, <laughs> too much. much. Too much. Uh, you know what? So, I have a question for you, Carol. Yes. Um, with with I the think. grandkids. Yes. Would you use acrylic or would you use something different? Like, what would be a good medium to to, to do print? with the kids? The acrylic. Acrylic. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's. Um, you need it to have something that's not going to be coming off in the wash. Uh -huh. So it has to be, and this comes off your hands, it comes off your clothes. If you get it right away, you can wash it off. So it's a really good, it's inexpensive. And like I said, I bought the textile paint, but it was real, it was runny. So uh -huh. you couldn't use a brayer. And you really want to use a brayer. Like you could buy real fish. Uh -huh. You know, just go and buy real fish or a leaf. Like I printed the leaves, all the leaves from around in here and just rolled them up and printed them so All you could right. it's fun i mean they could print whatever they wanted yeah you know stamping okay. and it's more fun i think to have something that you discover rather than buy a stamp or you sure. can buy the sponges that are hearts and teddy bears and all that too which is fun to do yeah but it's kind of fun just to see what you can do with household you know uh utensils and foods and stuff like that uh-huh but you can actually buy the fish and just make sure the scales are dry. Yeah. Because the thing with this, with watercolor, in the last segment we said more water than color. Yeah. Here we're not using water because no. water will just make it run. Yes. Okay. okay. But yeah, just acrylics and you can see they're cheap, you know, just, just anywhere. Okay. You can buy them at any place and they'll come in little, little containers. Let's see. Now, if the little kids get it in their mouth, that's not good. Well, no, no. no. You, so, you don't want them to eat it. So but. don't have Dominic. Uh, no, not, it's not. But he could stamp. And you know what I did with my little grandson? I painted his foot. Uh-huh. And, oh, yeah. and I stamped it. And we put it in the baby book. Oh, all right. It's so cute. I just painted his little foot. And, and my daughter held him down when he was like two months old. And we stamped it. So you can stamp, you know, your kid's feet and all that. And just wash them really good because it it's, comes right off. See, that's neat. And then you can also do the edge, you know, the cord, you know, variegated side. So you can this do all... This right here? Yeah, that's yeah. what I did on that one, where they almost look like trees. Really cool. You had a nice pattern, but... Well, I didn't. I just tried it on that. What I did is I'd never done this on... Um, you know, I did a lot of airbrushing and stuff with, with loose paint. Yeah. But I'd never actually stamped food in my life, and I'd never used it on apron. So when I did this, I did it for the show, and I didn't really plan it out too much. Uh -huh. I just I was doing the same thing you were, just trying to figure it out, what happened with different, uh, you know, different things I had around the house. I have a potato print here, Sam, if you <laughs> oh, want. okay. That'd be good. That's cool. Yeah, that, that turned out pretty Look nice. Look at that. So. That's great. All right, now. That's uh, the potato on the bottom, Gene? Yeah, the potato the star, on the bottom that I. That is really neat. I got to get rid of that, though. I got to use something. Uh, maybe put something I'll put on a, top of it. Maybe I'm going to put a rigatoni circle on that. So. <clears throat> so next time you guys do a cooking show, you can, you know. Where are our aprons? Yeah, well. well we could have Carol have help us cook. do a <laughs> yeah, recipe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That would be great. That would be fun. That would be really fun. Because any bozo can cook. That's yeah, right. Well, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> It'd be fun to learn from you guys because you're the best. That's neat. Those little circles are cool. Yeah, and you can also of. overlap them. You know, once yeah. they dry, you can stamp them together. You can do a lot of things with it. This fish might be dry, you think? Probably. Yeah. I'm going to show you how you can put a wash over them. You guys okay. want to see that? Oh, that's great. Um, I'll put a wash over mine just to show you. And then after that, is it, we, uh, we have 10 minutes, so we'll put a wash over, and then we're going to just kind of okay. call it the end of the printing show printing for the day. Show. The printing show. 
So what I'll do is I'll put a, I'm gonna put a red over this fish because I kind of like the hot colors going together. So if you guys just, for the end of the show. I'll We're having just, too much fun, Carol. You guys can just keep on going and I'll just do this. Um, I'm gonna set my fish up here for a sec. And, okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the red and I don't want to contaminate this paint with water. So I'm going to pull it from here because if I do that, then that'll get all too runny. Okay. And then you guys won't have any fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in kindergarten again. Okay. You know? So I'm just going to mix. I, all you do is just add, add water to uh -huh. it, you know, just get it really runny. And I could just stick it in there if I was done. And once your fish or any of this stuff is dry, you can run, you can run your color right over the guy and he'll turn and then test it out here. But acrylics are cool because you can use them like watercolors. So mm. I'm just gonna, s now that's gonna right. dull well, them look down. At the, look at how the, um, the, the um, gills come out. Or the, oh, the, the, the scales. scales. Yeah, the yeah. scales. Yeah, so you, I'm just gonna try to, whoops. I would, like do, I would do this flat if I was doing it, yeah, but yeah. you know, you wouldn't have it lifted, but for the sake of the camera, camera, see how cool that is? Yeah. yeah. Well, the blue wash would make it. So you can actually see this yeah. come through. And you could do that all over. Like, say you wanted to, um, you know, make now water across there or do mm -hmm. something like that, you could, but it's really neat. So you can play around with it. And if you feel that you have edges or say, sometimes you guys are saying, oh, I dropped something, you know, the darker you go, you can, you know, kind of see through it, but isn't that pretty? It is. And then you could just play around with it. And if you wanted to go all the way across, you <clears> could. <throat> But there's endless possibilities, just endless possibilities to, to any of this. So you could wash all the way through it, and uh -huh. all of this would become secondary because right now it's on white and it's really vibrating yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. But um, just really fun stuff to do. Uh -huh. And you know what, you guys, we don't have a whole lot of time. Just finish up what you're doing, take your time. And um, you know, if you want to actually experiment with the water, you can. And because I have this here, maybe I'll just go down a little bit more here and that's pretty because this is on cardboard it's picking up the um well i thought about doing a, a, a blue wash around the the flat fish here. go ahead try it <clears throat> are there more cups yeah right there? let me get the cups excuse me i'll put my little guy over there but you can see how cool this is yeah you know our problem with uh, our we didn't have Carol as a teacher. Here you go. Yes. See, so. And Just water and a little blue acrylic, right? Yeah, and not. Oh, no. Not this way. Do it the other way, right? Or just put, yeah, and just rinse this out or get a great big. Yeah, I did get a great big brush. Just get another great big brush. Okay, so you guys, what, okay. the way to set your, your anything, t shirts, anything that's on fabric, uh -huh. uh, you take your um, apron, your t shirt, whatever. Put it on an ironing board, take foil, aluminum foil, Reynolds wrap or whatever, put it on top and iron it. The heat will set your dye. Mm. Oh, okay. This is a poor man's way of doing a, any printing and on uh -huh. fabric. And then if you dry it, a lot of times I tell my students, throw it in the dryer. Because this is, this is not made for printing on fabric, the acrylic, but it will stay if you heat mm, set okay. it. Is that too dark for a wash? Um, try it on this. Oh, too dark, too dark. This is, this is a wonderful blue. Put a thing of yeah, uh, water, okay. And put this flat so it doesn't run. Put it flat down, just that like that. Okay, and yeah. then just slide it across. Just slide it all across here so you get it nice and even, that's you know. Even, that's yeah. even still dark. Huh? See, this is real intense color. Yeah, I didn't put that much in. Right, with watercolor, Water, a little bit of color. Okay. With acrylic, when you put it on canvas, you just put it real thick. Or when we're doing this, we're putting it thick. But 
when you're doing a wash, 99% water. Well, How beautiful better. that's that is. Better, yeah. Is that beautiful? Nice I love that Nice turquoise color, Sammy, you know? Go for the fish. This is going to be the finale, you guys. We have just go across. The end of the show. If this is going to be the end of the show, um, we're going out with a bang here. Okay, we have about. I well, I'm glad you came to be on Carol on Creativity. Well, thanks for having Thank us. You. This Thank you. Exciting. Uh, it was amazing. This has been a blast. Loved it. Oh, okay. And you guys are doing an amazing job. Amazing. You know what's even fun is to see the white crunches. You it know, almost looks like it's on a plate. Yeah. I wish I would have lightened it up here, but, you know. It's awesome. Yeah, let's go across the bottom. And look at this. It's like the 4th of July. Yeah. Did we meet on the 4th of July, Gene? Because I don't know what it came out in me that I should do these red, white, and blue. It's because I'm very yeah. patriotic. Oh, okay. okay. That's true. Dun, 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 and dun, dun, you know dun, what? Dun. This, this is the stuff I said, well, you know, it's not going to dry like right now. Uh -huh. But if you actually want to squeeze it on, yeah. see this? Oh, yes. yes. So you could, yeah. you know, go oh. like... Okay. Crazy. I know you would go crazy yes, with this one, yes, Sam. Yes, they would. I know I'm going to bring look this out, uh, Wash, Sammy. Look at it. It brings highlights. Oh, I love that. Is that uh -huh. beautiful? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Now, if you're going to do the wash, you can't yeah. use this now. No. Okay. Okay. So you got to choose. Okay. Uh, I want to do I want to do You want to squeeze. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but not... Uh, what color? Well, I think the red. Oh, red. How about if we did two colors? You can do whatever you want. Okay, let's do let's do let's do blue and blue and red. Something different. Blue and yes, red. Yes, let's do something unusual. Yeah, unusual. All right. Right. Okay. Now, so. now this is another secret in any art you do. You figure out where you're going to put your line. You figure out where you're going to put it. Instead uh -huh. of like this, oh, okay, because yeah, every yeah. time you okay. stop, you're going to get a ball. Okay. So if you're going to go from here to here, you think it first, and then you put it down. But Sammy's okay. so abstract. You know, okay. that's what no, I say. No, but he's, if he does okay. that, it's going to look... He's abstract yeah. random. You know what I was thinking, but, Carol, is that I want to kind of do, like, maybe here, and then kind of end up here, like, or maybe maybe go this way, and then this way. How about that? That's good. Okay. But if you, you're going to have a continual line? Yes. All right. So what I'm saying is when you start the line... Figure out where you're going to finish and finish. Finish it, okay. You know, don't hesitate, yeah. hesitate, well, hesitate. Oh, gotcha. Otherwise, okay. you're going to have little blobs along the way. Okay, so just keep that. on going. So how about if I did this, Carol? If I went this way and then this way. You know, in other words, this way, stop, and then come back and do another one this way. You could, and that would follow here and maybe connect these together somehow. Oh, okay. Oh, Pretend right. like it's a plate and we're yeah. plating it. Okay. Look at Sam, it's got bu bubbles, it's breathing. Yes, that's good. Oh, I like oh that. that's really that's cool. Shells. That is yes. really cool. <laughs> yeah. I love so, it. And you can put more at the bottom wash lengthwise. If you want to put a wash around there, you know, that's you can not do a bad that idea well. too. That's a good idea. Because the, okay. the, the, the top here. is kind of plain. So. Or you could change colors. Okay. Whew. You know, it's all up to you. Uh, Maybe maybe I should do that red, huh? Yeah, let's try that red. And that's going to stay raised. So this is your final, final, final. That's your final answer. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> now, will I? Will it, it be affected if I run it through the red? It's fine. Should be okay. That's fine. Okay. As long as you don't smush it around, yeah. like you know, smear it. Now, if, if when I did the, no, go ahead. When I did the um, lessons with my daughter, uh -huh. she's very neat, very clean. Everything was like, it's freaking her out. Yeah. The thing is, you put all of this in the sink. You throw all your vegetables and stuff away. You yeah. just take all the newspaper, roll it up, throw roll it in the it. garbage. Yeah. Done. It's all we have time for today. And it was an exciting day on Carol on Creativity. And I hope you go out and have a real creative day. I want to just thank Jean. How did you like the experience? Oh, uh, let me tell you, I told you about my anxiety with my art class, mm -hmm. but you made it so much fun, and it just was, it just came out, and it was a lot of fun, yeah. and it's beautiful, it too, is. you know, it's so beautiful. thank you so much for You're having welcome. us. It was, You're welcome. You made it special. Yeah. Likewise, and Carol, Sam? this was fabulous. It was a great experience. It's very, I found it very therapeutic. <laughs> I got a lot, just, it was mm -hmm. very, I, in fact, almost restful in terms it of what I, what I was doing. But, the, you Good. know, Gene and I have a saying that, uh, if uh, Sacabozo can paint, 
or draw or create mm -hmm. than any, any bozo, bozo can do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because you made it easy. This is Carol on creativity. Ciao for now. Thank you.